editing so hard, I just can't take it anymore. You don't know me. Hey man, what's up? We don't have the footage right now. Are you, are you kidding? No, I can't find it. That, I don't think we are, have it. That was a week's worth of work. Where, where'd it go? I don't what, know. What did, what did you do? What did you do? What did you do? I didn't do anything with what? No. Now for breaking news, we turn to Kinei Garg, live in the field. Dude, in the Colbert report the other day, man, it was so freaking sweet. You should have seen that, man, it was so awesome. He did this thing with the news and how it reflects itself on Russian dolls, and how the littlest doll was a country with we no weapons of mass destruction. And that little doll got gobbled up by Abu Ghraib. Abu Ghraib, which represents nudity and dogs, and that's why it got gobbled up. It was so freaking hilarious. And then he got it on with something else, and then something else, and then something else, and then it went, eventually went up to Foley. And Foley can't get gobbled up by anything, according to him, because Foley wants to remain on the freaking front page, and he wants to remain on the congressional page. It was so hilarious. He even said North Korea, with their nuclear scandal right now, cannot, get, cannot gobble up Foley. It was so freaking funny. And then he also said that Kim Jong-il looks like a 65-year-old woman with plastic surgery. I mean, it was so funny. If anyone watches this show, I would highly, highly recommend it. I would highly recommend watching this show. It was beautiful and it was great. And now, for the rest of what passes as the news, we turn to senior correspondent Eric Pauli Infanzon. This is Eric Pauli Infanzon reporting to you. On Friday, October 20th, 2006, the Titan Film Series will present, is presenting or has presented, Talladega Nights, The Ballad of Ricky Bobby, depending on when you see this broadcast. You may see, maybe you are seeing, or may have seen it at 8 p.m. or 11 p.m. in the Hanson Student Center. Tibetan monks are scheduled to construct a mandala sand painting on campus from October 24th through the 27th in the John Wesley Powell Rotunda of the Ames Library. Also, on October 27th at 8 p.m., the monks will be at the Bloomington Center for the Performing Arts, where they will perform sacred music and dance. Now, for entertainment news. On October 17th, 2006, Stephen Colbert announced his plan to save the children. St. Eddie's already saved the world. How hard could saving the children be? The announcement came as part of the Colbert Report's one-year anniversary, wherein Colbert said he will auction off this portrait of him, which hangs in the set of his show. The proceeds of the auction will go to save the children. AOL's entertainment website, TMZ.com, has reported that Melanie Brown, formerly known as Scary Spice, is four months pregnant with actor Eddie Murphy's baby. The news comes months after the finalization of Murphy's divorce from his wife Nicole, who filed for divorce from the comedian in August 2005, citing irreconcilable differences. And now, in the world of fake news, I'm Eric Pauli Fanson. And I'm Michael Gorman. The Campus Apathy Club disbanded earlier this week, bringing down the total number of student organizations here at the university. Student officials cited the reason as due to lack of interest. According to the Campus Bureau for Bogus Statistics and Fun Factoids, this puts the number of student organizations somewhere between 164 and the theoretical fun raised to the power of pi r squared. In other news, the Green Wesleyan building signs with the supremely expensive golden balls were perversely fondled this week in what later turned out to be a heist. Attention was brought to this matter by numerous calls placed to the main desk asking, quote, Y'all got some balls there? Upon later investigation, campus security found the golden balls in a chemistry lab. The Alchemy Club was supposedly trying to melt the, bowl, the balls down for the gold. To their dismay, they were only able to extract plastic. And now, Betterment. This segment is designed to help all you students looking to get into grad school, or maybe simply, you want to impress people at an English department party. We give you the GRE Word of the Week. This week's word is... Chiffu. Now. Meaning one. Footgear. Meaning two. Plural. Shoes. A fun fact is that chaussure derives its etymology from the same root word as calzone, the Latin calcius, meaning shoes. But don't confuse your pumas with this tasty treat, it's not the same thing. And now, to effortlessly use chaussure in a sentence. Yo dude, I was at the club, right? 
And you know what more happened to me? This walk up to me, right? And he spilled beer all over my new white Nike show shoe. I was like, what? What? Get out of here! Get out of here with that noise! Thank you. This definition has come from Merriam-Webster's online dictionary. For more on how the GOP is handling the current political atmosphere, we turn to senior songwriter Tom Fairbairn. All right, now. Recently, the GOP. Ooh, the GOP has been experiencing some hard times in the news. And as a wise man once said, you know it's hard out here for a pimp. Now, with this in mind, we here at the station, we here at Time TV, would like to take this opportunity not only to inform you of recent events and recent headlines involving the GOP, but we uh, we want to present it with a little tenderness. A little tenderness and love, a little TLC, yeah, baby, yeah. So right now, we present you with GOP Scandals 2006 Part 1. We're starting this right off right now with who? With who? That's right, Representative Randy the Duke, the Duke Cunningham, who used his position to do what now? I'll tell you what he did. He used his position to see more than 70 mil in government funds to companies run by his business associates. 70 mil, at least it ain't 80. Man found himself taking over 2.4 million in bribes. Man's got to hustle for his friends, needs to get just here for his daughter. And now, this next one, this next one goes out to former representative Mark Foley. And Mark Foley, what'd he do? Mark Foley only played a dirty big word over the AIM with 16-year-old male pages. Who gets lonely on the top, so you gotta find a kid on the bottom. Now, while he may have faded from the hearts of the party, the repercussions of his actions, they won't fade from the election. And my heart will go on and on. If the Democrats, if they play it right anyway. First time for everything, gotta give it a chance. But part of people who fear the Foley scandal might keep evangelicals away from the polls in November, well, it just got a little bit harder. Gotta keep hitting the fan. David Kuo wrote a book alleging that the entire Bush administration not only ignored but insulted the faith-based initiative program and offended many Christian groups. We got no love for the church. Several of whom supported Bush in the 2004 election. We got no prayer cause he ain't listening. Kuo quoted one senior staff member as mocking the plan. Same faith-based initiative. With some members going so far, so far, as to call them what? As to call them nuts. Call them ridiculous. It's like the pot calling the kettle black. It's been tough. It's been a tough month for the GOP. But you know what? Don't worry about that. You know what, baby? You hang in there. Why? You know why? Because there's always next one. And why? There's always someone left to embarrass you. Why? Cause I'm in love with the stripper. Thank you.